Houston with UCLA. We're just under a minute into the second half here in New York. Dan Schulman, Nick Vitale, Doris Burke, the 2K Sports Classic benefiting coaches versus Kansas. Well, you know, that's one of the reasons I don't like that rule about giving Holt to the possession. We have a great defensive effort here, and they get penalized. So would you have a jump ball or just give it to the defense? I would have a jump, jump ball. ball. Absolutely. Look at Holland. Nine points in the first half for the freshman. But again, UCLA having to use a lot of clocks, not getting easy looks until Ship got almost all the way to the rim and then had it knocked away. It was a big dunk in that first game that changed the complexion. Nolan Smith when he made that yeah. jam for Duke. And Gerald Henderson had a big one in the second half as well. Michigan ball. They get an offensive rebound and a fresh 35. Deep one by wow. Dallas. Wow. It's a one-point game. You know, he got a little confused out there, and he shot that from the NBA three. He really did, Dan. He shot that from the NBA three. See, that's John Beeline kind of basketball. Make the three-point shot. I mean, there's too many lines out there. It's totally confusing. The players, the referees. Well, they broke the defense beautifully right there as a boy against the lane. You know, a boy has got to give him some point production on the interior. Got active right there. He shot that behind the NBA three, which is 23 plus. Well, there's a young man in the building tonight who had, I think, the deepest range of any player I've ever seen, and that's John Beeline's son, Patrick, who played for him at West Virginia and is now a graduate assistant on the Michigan staff. Well, he's got a chance to get a coaching job with that name, Mr. Beeline, and learn so much from his dad. And you're right, he can really shoot it. Gibson does not get the land, but the offensive rebound is put back in. I think Michigan people. I think they have something to be a little bit excited this year about. I think they're going to win their sure games in the Big Ten. Danny Harris with the lay-in. Again, it's a one-point game. Michigan has not led at any point in this game, but they're hanging with the Bruins. Well, the one thing they have the Bruins doing right now is thinking a little bit on every pass and maneuver against that zone. Keith is fouled and will go to the line. Take a look at Michigan on offense. They get an offensive rebound, something they're not known for, and a kick out to the deep three. Well, they kick it out. Nothing but that one. Douglas, a long-range shooter, a skilled guy, a big-time stroke, his NBA range. How about this, Dick? This is UCLA's first free-throw attempt of the game. Let's go to Doris Burke. Well, when I asked Ben Howland what the, the turnovers in the first half were about, he said bad offense. Some of the things they talked about in attacking this 1-3-1 one, one is being aggressive without being impatient. So we're making very bad decisions, running over people in transition, running, we're out of control. He is not unfamiliar with John Beeline and this 1-3-1 one, one guys. It dates to their history in the Big East Conference, respectively at Pittsburgh and West Virginia guys. That's right. They met at Pitt in West Virginia, then UCLA versus West Virginia a couple of times, and then UCLA versus Michigan last year and again this year. You know, UCLA jumped out to 29-19 with a little spurt there. Since then, it's been all Michigan. Sims has checked into the game, as has Javon Shepard for the first time for Michigan. He's from out of Toronto. That's one right. of your guys, too. Athlete. Manny Harris for three. Look at this. They're starting to feel it. You can see their body language. They're getting a little excited. They're starting to believe. They're saying, who's talking about Duke and UCLA? Forget about it. It may be Duke and Michigan. A 10-2 run for the Wolverines as they have taken their first lead of the game. Michigan leading UCLA by two. Who else? Manny Harris knocking it down. First lead of the night. And they have done what you would expect a John Beeline team to do here in the second half. Shoot the three. They really struggled in the first half, but they've already made two threes here in the second half. Yeah, they're shooting the ball a little better here in the second half, and certainly they need Harris to step up. And shot the open three. You know, last year they were 10 and 22. The year before they were 22 and 13 on the Tommy Emick on 8 and 8 and didn't get into the tournament. You talk about on the other side, UCLA's pick number one to win the Pac-10, followed by Arizona State. Southern Cal gets beat by tonight, Seton Hall. Arizona, who's certainly not going to be super strong, really lost at home the UAB, Washington next. They got beat by Portland. We'll see them up. My point I'm making, I don't think the Pac-10 from top to bottom is going to be as strong as it's been in the past, and that equates to me a lot of wins for UCLA. But Arizona State, a team, people are yeah, just they're sleeping on right now. They got a lot of talent. Herb Sendek's got it going on in Tempe, and they're a real force. Well, you know, Ben Holland, a little adjustment there during the timeout. 
really attacked the seam in that zone that time and got an open shot. Hurt send it. And never got the love he should have had right. down in Raleigh, North Carolina. Outstanding coach. And the kid Harden's one of the special players in the country. Douglas made